Hello guys, I am Christian Vere and this is how to do the underwater dolphin kick with fins. Since I'm a diver and not a swimmer, I have my friend and professional swimmer Simon Mo helping with demonstrating how to do it correctly. When doing the dolphin kick, it's very important to have a good streamline. This is to get as little resistance in the water as possible. As much as aerodynamics are very important when you look at cars, airplanes and rockets, it's even more important in the water because there's a lot more resistance in the water than in the air. So you can put one hand on top of the other and stretch out your arms in front of you. You can wrap the thumb on the hand on top around the other hand and use it to squeeze the hands together. That will lock your hands together so they don't slide apart. Then make your body as long as possible. Put your biceps towards the back of your ears and you want to squeeze the arms tight against the head and neck. If you're able, you should have no space between your head and arms. This requires some flexibility in the shoulders and arms, but if you have space between your arms and your head or neck, you will be less streamlined and create more resistance in the water. Also make sure your head does not tilt up or down too much. Having the head out of place will create a lot of resistance in the water. It can be very easy to get tempted to look forward to see where you're going, but doing that will tilt your head out of line you should rather make sure to have a clear path in your lane and then just look down on the line on the bottom of the pool to see where you're going. That is what the line is there for. And when you see the line ends, you know you're almost at the wall. To make your body as flat as possible, you want to squeeze the ribs in and straighten out the arch in your back. You don't want your butt to stick out like a duck. You want your legs to be close together and not go apart. If you use a monofin, they're naturally held together by the fin. Just try to kick off the wall without fins on and slide while relaxing with the arms along your side. Then kick from the wall while being streamlined and you will see how much difference this makes. Now to the movement. You want to isolate the top of your body in a streamline and press the front of your ribs forward and kind of do a body roll where the movement starts at the ribs and rolls down through the body like a whip through the hips and the knees and then through the feet and fin. You should not bend your knees more than 120 degrees. This will help you get more power in both directions, not only when you kick down. If you only get power when you kick down, you're actually wasting a lot of energy. When you are swimming with a big monofin like this, we are not trying to swim as fast as possible by kicking hard, but rather kick smoothly so the fin goes down, up, down and then glide. We want to save as much energy as possible so we can hold our breath longer underwater. When I started practicing with the monofin, I found that if I had the arms beside my sides, it was easier to get the feel of the motion. And then I could put the arms over my head and be streamlined when I felt that the technique and motion was good. I hope you liked this video and if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Have a nice day!